Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Jolie and this video is going to be Al-Anon material reading. So um, Al-Anon is uh, the sole purpose is to help the families and friends of alcoholics and addicts and um, uh, by daily reading like I do here and um, it helps me uh, and it's part of the program of um, helping others and um, have, starting a community where you can actually talk and share about your experiences, um, your strengths that you've gained from this and a hope for, uh, for today, basically. Uh, we live one day at a time here with uh, this 12-step uh, reco recovery program for uh, for the for that addiction and um, it's like uh, being codependent because uh, our thinking gets distorted when we're overly trying to help the people that we love um, get kind of lost in in, in that scheme of it uh, whether you grew up with alcoholism in your family or um, addiction or if you um, uh, have it in your life with partnerships or your or your children possibly even yourself. So you you can be your own qualifier as well. So just so you know, you know, like it helps to um, iron out those rough spots in our living and that can only be done one day at a time. So today I'm going to be reading from Courage to Change and from Hope for Today. So welcome. Grateful that you're here. Today is February 2nd and um, I read every day. And uh, I look forward to seeing your comments uh, after and if you relate to the material I read. So here we go. Courage to Change, page 33. I used to live my life as if I were on a ladder. Everyone was either above me to be feared or envied or below me to be pitied. God was way, way at the top beyond my view. That was a hard, lonely way to live because no two people can stand comfortably on the same rung for very long, the rung on the ladder. When I came to Al-Anon, I found a lot of people who had decided to climb down from their ladders into the circle of fellowship. In the circle, we were all on equal terms and God of my understanding, my higher power, was right in the center, easily accessible. When newcomers arrived, we didn't worry about rearranging everyone's position. We simply widened the circle. Today, I no longer look up to some people and down to others. I can look each person in the eye, squarely and honestly. Today, being humble means climbing down from the ladder of judgment of myself and others and taking my rightful place in a worldwide circle of love and support. Today's reminder, my thoughts are my teachers. Are they teaching me to love and appreciate myself and others? Or are they teaching me to practice isolation? Today I will choose my teachers with great care. It's choosing your friends and the people you hang out with, right? People, places, and things really makes a difference in your world. Um, it does for me. That's my experience. And there is a quote from the book, This is Al-Anon. Live and let live sets us free from the compulsion to criticize, judge, condemn, and retaliate, which can damage us far more than those against whom we use such weapons. Al-Anon helps us to learn tolerance rooted in love. Wow, this is a great reading. Um, definitely this shows uh, where we were, uh, uh, for myself, my experience, uh, where I was judging myself. And um, I find myself, when I find myself doing that again, I know that that's my capacity to love another. Um, if I'm judging myself, I will be judging others as well. And um, I can't be doing that for, 
for my serenity. Um, my serenity is the most important thing in my life. And um, I pray to be led into a new way of thinking always um, about uh, getting a new point of view uh, to put uh, things into perspective and, uh, uh, and to reduce my problems in manageable sizes. Um, I pray especially to resist exaggerating my troubles so that they don't overwhelm me. And this way I, I stay away from judgment and uh, everyone that I meet is that it even heal within myself, like we're all in the same page and um, I welcome them as they welcome me. So uh, my thoughts are my teachers and today I will choose teachers with great care. That's about boundaries for me as well. What, uh, what and who will I listen to and have in my life? Um, someone who has uh, a spiritual uh, growth program that they're working on and someone who can listen to me as I can listen to them and just not offer me solutions and giving me dignity to solve these problems as as they need to be solved, just one day at a time, one bit at a time. And um, it, uh, and I do that for them as well, you know, trusting those people as well, doing the best we can with that. So, so how are you doing today? How is everything going? Yeah, it's, uh, it is, uh, it's, it's good to share uh, in the comments, if you can, and um, I encourage you to do so because um, there's a lot of really good, um, good ears that it can fall on. Just like getting it out is helpful to me to do, just to allow that, um, that release, you know, so that uh, I can have that, uh, the purpose of um, opening my heart, you know. And um, so I'll go ahead and get started with reading Hope for Today, page 33, February 2nd. I remember awakening one night when I was a teenager to hear my drunken mother or father gossip with a friend about intimate details of my life. Nothing was sacred when she was a drunk. Uh, the pain was intense and I tried to hide my sobs in the pillow. For many years I hid feelings and the details of my life just as I had hidden my sobs. Gossip and my fear of it propelled me deeper into perfectionism. After all, if I were perfect, no one would have anything to talk about. Gossip created a judgmental atmosphere in which I did not feel free to be myself. Gossip was just as harmful to me when I was the one doing it. When I gossiped about another, I avoided feeling and looking at my own life. Then I came to Al-Anon where gossip is considered detrimental to recovery. For this reason, it, lists, it is listed as one of the three obstacles of success in Al-Anon in our conference approved literature. I felt such a relief when I heard the following in our suggested Al-Anon Alateen closings. Quote, talk to each other, reason things out with someone else, but let there be no gossip or criticism of another. Instead, let the understanding, love, and peace of the program grow in you one day at a time." End of quote. What peace that statement brings. Today, I, I avoid gossip. And in doing so, I keep from being controlling and judgmental. I put the focus on myself one day at a time. And the thought for the day, whom you see here what you hear here. When you leave here, let it stay here. Is a lesson not only in maintaining anonymity, 
but also in avoiding gossip. Quote from Courage to Change, page 300. Gossip never enrich, enriched anyone's character. It was only an excuse to avoid focusing on myself. What a powerful reading. Gossip is deadly. Gossip is deadly in my opinion, in my experience. That is one of the things that I really uh, struggled with when, uh, before I came to this program and to my other program, that uh, my 12 step program for uh, Alcoholics Anonymous. And um, because I was not focusing on myself, I could figure out what's wrong with everybody else. I couldn't seem to figure out what was wrong with me and what what the lights came on. The lights came on when I realized that I really needed to stop doing that. Especially when I heard that, that in the closing of the Al-Anon, I was like, yeah, right? You know, this um, talk to each other, reason things out with someone else, but let there be no gossip or criticism of one another. Like hallelujah to that. that that right there opened my heart to be able to say, okay, this is the group I want to be in with because we will not falter into doing that. And if we do, we can catch it up. Be like, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. No, let's, where's the focus? Let's focus on what we can do. And that's us. And um, instead let their, let the understanding love and piece of the program grow in you one day at a time. So it's a process. It's like, there's no shame. Just like, if you realize you're doing it, just stop and say, you know what, I'm, I, I'm not gonna go there. There's another way. And what am I learning here? What do I need to focus on? That's just such a blessing. Gossip never enriched anyone's character. It was only an excuse to avoid focusing on myself. What a wonderful, wonderful readings today. So with that, I wanna invite you to subscribe so that you can um, be notified when, the, when I upload every day. I'm uploading um, several videos a day. Now, um, today, uh, I, I'm reading the two books, Hope for Today and Courage to Change. Uh, I'm also um, uh, talking about um, uh, another, uh, another program called Course in Miracles. So I'm teaching myself that. So um, in, the, in the spill of it, I'm going to be just talking about it and my thoughts. And um, I'm just really going to invite everyone to make comments uh, that um, that uh, they can relate to in their experience um, learning um, together, learning together on this channel. And then also uh, with, um, uh, I'll be reading um, another book one day at a time in al on a separate um, video. So um, for those who follow that reading, so you can follow along with that as well. So um, I appreciate you and your comments. And um, if you like the video, please like so that we can um, continue with uh, the thumbs up business here. And um, I'll uh, end this video like, um, like I always do with the serenity prayer. If you want to join with me to, um, to say the serenity prayer, let's take a nice deep breath in and out, deep breath in. And out, God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, courage to change the things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. God's will be done. Thank you. It works if you work it. And um, I will see you tomorrow.